Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony North Eastern and um, yeah so this is where we had left off from last time and um, the response has been pretty good as usual uh, some great comments and um, yeah some witty banter <laughs> as well but uh, yeah it's all good fun and um, yeah so what are we going to be messing around on the railway with today? Well, um, in the last video we mentioned about the Birch um, Hall pub needing a permanent place here on the layout. And I think I've found the ideal spot. So if I just move that out the way and we don't have to go too far to find it um, yeah it's going to go in here um, there's a lot of work to do um, to make it fit in there um, I have offered it up, it does fit um, so yeah, so we've got to move the, the um, canteen we've got to move the um, power transformer and the lamp so we move all these items out of the way and uh, hopefully we should be able to fit the birch hall pub into that area um, also at the same time I'd like to finish off this street scene here as well um, at least get the paving in as far as the end of that buttress on the bridge and this will then complete this scene um, hopefully anyway <laughs> yes so it's a bit of a chop around this week so let's get started so we've moved the fitters canteen and now we're moving the water tower um, obviously I will be putting this somewhere else on the layout um, as you can imagine, they, uh, when they uh, built the diesel depot, they would have knocked the water tower down, possibly anyway. Um, who knows, I might put it back. I just want to move it off of here for safekeeping. Um, so I'm going to move this yard lamp out of the way as well. I think I glued that down. Yeah, so I'm going to have to prise it off gently. And uh, right, so let's just see if I can prise that plate, not the lamp sitting on without breaking it. See, that's the trouble when you glue these things down. So that will go somewhere else in the diesel depot. So now we'll move the transformer, which is quite easy because they're not glued down, and neither is the fence. But the, the plinth that the transformer sat on, that's glued down. But um, they will be going elsewhere on the layout of the transformer and the fence. I'll show you that towards the end of the video but um, so yeah we're almost ready to uh, take down this wall I think what we'll try and do we'll try and keep this wall and move it and place it over here if it doesn't uh, get damaged too much but all these cobblestones will have to be lifted right, so we'll place the birch hole in place and uh, we'll just see what that looks like so yeah, I think that would be the ideal spot for it. Um, and it won't 
encroach too much onto the diesel depot. Or I've got to move it forward a little bit, but there's no door at the back there on that uh, back wall, so that'll be fine to sit there like that. So, yeah, I think that will look great there. Right, I've already tried to have a go at uh, knocking this wall down and it's stuck solid. Uh, that's the trouble with the old PVA. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a Stanley blade and really push into that wall there, right on that edge. See if I can at least crack the wood glue to give us a chance of getting this off. thick that is. Remember sticking the, these um, cobblestones on top of lollipop sticks so that's why that's quite thick. It's about four mil thick uh, with the lollipop sticks underneath. So what I'm gonna have to do now is use this rule and come out at this angle here and keep scoring it and scoring it until I break through. Right, so I've scored across there and across there, so hopefully it should, should just lift up now. This is what you call messing around on the railway. Well, that was fun. Um, yeah, so I've just placed the buildings in situ just to see what it would look like now. So the porter cabin's gone back for the um, fitters, so they've got somewhere to to change into their overalls and have their cup of tea and um, yeah and I've still got plenty of room there what I might do there is because I've got some of these cobblestones left I'll be able to refit purpose these and put them in here and create some sort of um, pub yard with barrels, uh, beer barrels, that sort of thing in there, ladders and other accessories for the pub. Um, yeah, so there's plenty of room there to fit a wall in. Uh, so yeah, I think that looks quite neat, especially when you come down to this level. So, uh, yeah. And as we come round here, we can see where the water tower once was. If I just lift that out of the way, now that was to bring the water tower up level with the cobblestones. So what I might do, I might just paint that grey and uh, leave it as um, concrete. So it's a reminder of what was once there, rather than trying to hack that out and put some cobblestones in.
So yeah, so far so good. Now it's time to start putting things in place like the wall. Sometime later, um, as you can see, we've put up a wall and uh, the wall itself is made from two millimeter thick craft card, two pieces stuck together to give it its four mil thickness. Now, what I've used to cap the walls off in the usual way um, uh, is coffee stir and sticks, um, which is roughly about five millimeters thick. So you've got a little ledge either side, which is, which is about right. And um, obviously using a razor saw or a coping saw, we cut into the coffee stir and sticks to form these slabs, roughly about four or five millimeters apart. And uh, yep, and that's what gives that unique look regarding the walls. And as we go round, we can see how the wall blends in with the cobblestones, and it looks quite neat. Um, obviously, it wouldn't be as clean as that. There would have been weeds along that edge, so we'll do that. We'll add some weeds along there later. Um, we managed to salvage some cobblestones to make up the the yard for the brewery so there'll be barrels and um, probably uh, some trolleys and things in there which will add some little details I've put in a little tiny wall there to fill in the gap between the pub and the bridge buttress and uh, yeah and that helps to create the scene that I'm after so the next job is to add some cobblestones from there all the way along to just roughly where that uh, shop is at the edge of the bridge buttress there so if I can do that that'll be that'll finish off this um, street scene and there we're almost there with this but we still got a long way to go Oop! PC Pickens fallen over I always try to catch the, the thief there but he's tripped up oh dear he's nearly caught him um, the paving's done, um, done it in the usual way, making paper templates and fitting the slabs to the paper templates and then fitting them onto the baseboard and uh, that's how we get this nice smooth um, paving effect. Uh, but not only have I done the paving there, if we come back you can see I've created a T-junction here or a roundabout, I'm not sure what I want to put in the middle of there yet but uh, we shall see, it might just be a T-junction but we'll have to put a little traffic island here um, yep, yeah, so we've carried on with the paving all the way along down here right away around to the edge of the Saracen's Head pub so it's took me most of the afternoon to do this um, almost a full packet of Medcalf paving slabs used here I've still got about four sheets left so it's not bad you do get a lot of paving um, in those Medcalf packs so let's try the pub in the area so there it is the birch hall in we just push that up against that wall put that in line with the paving there we go and it looks like it's always been there there's still a few little things I need to do there's some ballast I want to put down that back edge and I might even throw in a tree just here just to give it a little bit of greenery break up all the, the stonework um, so I've got this concrete paint because uh, that's the foundation for the water tower so I'll do that and um, then I can wire up all the buildings because obviously I've had to disconnect all these buildings to take out the yard lamp that was sitting just about here at the beginning of the video but I will put that back but I'm not sure where I'm going to put it back in the diesel depot just yet so there's still a little bit more to do but uh, at least for now the birch hall in 
has found a new home and it's staying put. I don't think I'll be lifting it off there any time soon. So if we turn the camera around we're almost creating a street scene here. We have now reinstated the yard lamp and um, it's not that far from where it was before, it was just here. I can just about make out the hole if we zoom in, but it's just here in this corner, so yes, yeah, so it's not too far away, it's only about a hundred millimeters, and luckily enough there was just enough cable um, spare to put it back in its original terminal block under the baseboard, so I was lucky in that respect. Now then, the transformer has moved to a new home, which is just around the corner here. And uh, it looks like it's always been there. Um, but what I've done there is I've glued the whole lot onto a piece of card. And if I ever have to move it again, um, I won't have to scrape up the ballast. So that's uh, one less interference with the baseboard. Um, yep, yeah, I have uh, repainted the road, given that slightly lighter grey and it looks like a fresh coat of tarmac then it looks like I've just been relayed as it were so uh, that's that done um, managed to paint the road all the way around to the Tyne Dock station so, so all that's been revamped um, Yes, I'm so moving back around to the Birch Hall pub. Now that looks like it's always been there. Yes, if we come back a bit, I've added another pedestrian crossing. Different set of beacons this time. These are not the Gauge Master ones like I've used at Socials. These are the HO ones. Again, quite cheap, about half the price and um, yeah they look <laughs> they do look uh, a little bit on the large side but um, but yeah, yeah I mean for, for what I paid for them I think I paid about 8 quid for the pair on eBay and uh, yeah so yeah a new pedestrian crossing going in it's all happening down at the bottom of 39 steps and it all started off with the police box a week ago so yeah so what I'm, what I'm doing here is uh, you see I've already indented the road and uh, what I've got to do here is uh, just fill in these dots with some silver paint and then that would be that finished and uh, yeah we're almost there for setting the scene got to add a few more lamp posts so I shall do that and uh, we'll see you in a bit right so the lamp posts have now been fitted and I've also added a little cameo scene here um, with these PD mod figures with a lollipop man escorting these children across the road um, they do come pre-painted but I've painted them again um, basically to um, give them a, a little badge there you see if you look closely on that figure there she's got a blue and a light red badge that represents um, well the South Shields football team so to speak but there you go so that's just to personalize those figures just a little bit um, I'm going to give them a burgundy cap but they look like um, little paras don't they <laughs> oh dear right anyway as I said the lamppost is now fitted and I've also added a couple of bus stops 
as you can see one either side of the road there um, that was they were made by using a 0.8 wire and I've shrunk down a bus stop sign um, as small as I could get it so you can just about make out the uh, lettering and then stuck them onto that 0.8 wire painting them up grey and a black base and um, yeah so that's them finished now it kind of sets the scene um, it's not 100% finished yet because all these buildings, these Kibri buildings in front of us here, these are all got to be adapted at some point um, to make them more um, in keeping with the area. Um, yeah, to make them more, well, English as it were, or British. Um, even British buildings you walk down the high street do have this sort of architrave on the builders maybe not these uh, balconies but certainly this type of windows so there is a little bit of work to be done to these um, right so what else can I say ah yes the police box I have now found a South Shields police box and um, at some point I will be making um, one of those to go near the South Shields railway station and um, it's a shame I didn't notice it beforehand but then again I still got a good looking police box there Um, so let's have a look at this from a different angle at the moment. We're looking at it from this side. Let's go around. So from this angle we can see, hopefully if I can get it into shot, the actual 39 steps because it does seem to be hidden by that hotel building. But there it is, there's the 39 steps. And if I bring the camera around, we can have a look in the, the pub's yard. And you can see some barrels of beer. And also, if I come around, there's a little gate now on the side of the pub. Um, yeah. So, there was a lot of work there just to relocate the Birch Hall Inn. But, I'm glad I've done it because it finishes off this area almost. Like I said, we've still got work to do on the buildings and maybe adding some more um, details for the street. But that will be for another video. Uh, next time on Tony Northeastern, we're going to start revamping one of the stations that I've already done. Um, yep, I'm going to rip up one of the stations because it's not right. So we shall look forward to that. Right, and I know some of you have been wondering, oh, what have I done with the water tower? Well, I have placed it here temporarily for now, but it could end up staying permanent because we have a spur line which comes off from the New Hassle station and uh, it could quite uh, easily be a place for locomotives to stock up on water before going off on its journey. So, yeah. It might stay, it might not. Anyway, finally, it's competition time. I am giving away five sets of these um, stickers. As you can see, we've got the uh, police um, box, Saracen's Head, and the ticket booth. And uh, in order to win a set of these, uh, I need to know what I originally called PC Pitkin before I called him PC Pitkin I did give him a name um, so what was it and uh, the winning answers will be put into a hat it will be a draw 
and uh, the first five that comes out of the hat will win a set of these Tony Northeastern stickers. Uh, it's just a bit of fun and uh, it'll be interesting to see how many of you get it right as well. Right, and uh, yep, yeah, so I'll pick them out of the hat uh, for next weekend, so we'll reveal the winners next weekend, so it should be uh, good to see that. Right, uh, I think that's all from me for this week. Yes, it is. Right, we'll see you again next week. Bye for now. Bye.